Alright guys, we're back for another Dokkan Battle video. Uh, today we're going to go ahead and take a look at Dark King Fu. Um, now, Dark King Fu, I, I think he might actually be able to be pretty decent. Um, he has what I consider to be a pretty bad design, but I do think that he's just strong enough to kind of get past it, right? Uh, I compared him to Carnival LR Kid Gohan who I think also has a, just a pretty terrible design that just doesn't really work very well. Um, but Gohan is just kind of strong enough anyway to just sort of push through it and be very effective. Um, I think Fu can kind of be the same thing. Now, if we get bad luck with Fu and his orbs, that could be very bad. Um, Fu is a character that's going to need to be dodging, and in order to do that, he does need orbs. So that's going to be something to keep our eye on. Um, in terms of the build here, mostly I just gave him full dodge, um, and then, I mean, in that bronze slot, I mean, I have very few dodge equips anyway, so I was like, okay, here's a perfect time to toss out one of these HP equips, right, so, you know, my Fu is gonna have a little bit of more extra HP, um, with this, you know, with a bunch of characters having these, I mean, it could help you know, push us a little bit deeper into the 600k HP range, which I think could potentially be good, right? So, I, I mean, it's like we could give him a little bit of extra defense, but, I, like, giving defensive equips to characters that aren't guard or damage reduction, I, I just don't really see the, the point to it. Um, I think if a character's, like, a big-time guard character or damage reduction, like, yeah, like, raw defense can help. But, I, you know, it's like, I could give him dodge, I could give him pointless additionals and crits, or the HP, we could try it. I mean, I have all these HP equips, I mean, we could give it a try, see if it's effective, right? Alright, guys, so we are here in an event with Dark King Fu. Um, using Fu quite a bit at this point, um, I, I do like him. I, I, I feel like, uh, looking at his kit on paper, um... That, him needing STR key spheres is certainly something that could crop up. I mean, we could see it right here a little bit. But for the most part, it, it has been something I've found that you can play around pretty well. Um, right? To where, like, like the orb certainly could cuck you at points. But a good example is where initially I really didn't like Fu on paper. But I loved Demon Goddess Toa. But, like, basically their performances have swapped my viewpoints on those characters. I'm pretty down on Demon Goddess Toa now, whereas I'm much higher on Fu. Now, one thing about Fu that I've found that is pretty good is, I mean, before he attacks, he could take damage, but, I, I mean, guys, again, I, I love characters that could deal with the AoEs, but, I mean, we're talking about 90% of characters really can't, like, just go crazy. Fu, depending upon the amount of key spheres we get, can at least have a chance to dodge some of those AoE attacks from Omega and Zamasu. So, so that is good, right? Um, I think one thing a lot of people in the community have an issue with is, like, they will get a thought in their head of, like, a character or something like that. And then no matter what, they will not move off of that point. You need to be able to adapt to info, right? Like... I, I thought that Fu, uh, that condition is going to be tough. It's going to be a, a nightmare running him. I found that's not the case. So we switch up. Fu's great. That's what we got to do. You got to take the info as it's given, right? Like, I all, I hate Super Trunks. Why? Because I use them and I die over and over and over. Because he sucks, right? Like, why do I turn on characters? Because they suck. Way too often people are like, oh my god, you're just hating on the character. No! They blow it. So that's when they get the slander. When they come correct and put up numbers for us, why would we complain? All right, so let's take a look. So, again, we're not going to be able to run Fu in slot one. Uh, we're going to be a little bit iffy on our orbs here. Let's just go over what Fu does real quick. All right, so Fu's link set here. We have Demonic Power, Brainiacs, Cold Judgment, Big Bad Bosses, Godly Power, Fear and Faith, and Fierce Battle. Now, remember, there is a difference between Fu next to hearts and not next to hearts, right? Because it's like, we're at 277 right here. I mean, look at Cold Judgment. Huge 25% defensive link. Then Brainiacs, huge 15% defensive link. And then Big Bad Bosses, huge 25% defensive link. Look at the amount of defense Fu is getting just by being next to hearts. Plus, hearts is a support type character. So that shit is nuts, right? Um, now let's go and take a look at Fu's... Uh, passive and a super attack effect. 
Super attack effect, he's getting 30% defense, supreme damage, and then he seals. We'll, we'll take that. A seal is always nice for certain content. Uh, Fu gets 150% attack and even start a turn. 150% attack and defense when performing super attack. That's big. Uh, he gives extreme class allies 30% attack and defense. Now, the, one thing that's important to keep in mind with Fu, and this might be relevant with Dokkan Fest Sandra 21 coming. We'll see. But Fu doesn't actually need to be on, like, a crossover team or a um, Dragon Ball Hero team as, as much as some of the other characters. I mean, this ability right here is important. So, Fu randomly will change a type key sphere into STR if there's three, another three or more crossover category allies on the team, right? So, certainly that is important, but maybe you could work around it, but I mean, maybe not. If, if not STR orb changing, you probably would need rainbow orb changing. So, we'll keep going. Uh, Fu gets an extra 100% attack with an STR key sphere obtained, and then he gets a 10% chance to dodge. Extreme class allies get one key, and he gives an additional 4% attack and defensive support per STR or rainbow key sphere obtained, whichever key sphere is collected the most is what's counted. So, Fu can get up to a 50% chance to dodge, 5 key support extra, and then 20% extra attack and defense to villains. So, he can give villains 5 key and 50% attack and defense as support. Right, which certainly is definitely a really big number. While having a 50% chance to dodge, any could have decent stats. But it is definitely a thing where orbs could potentially cuck you a little bit, right? Which sort of happened right here. All right, so let's go ahead and see what Fu will be able to put up. Uh, again, depending upon what upcoming characters come out, we might utilize Fu a lot. Maybe sometimes I can use him on, like, the Fusion Zamasu team. Because remember, Fu is a Realm of Gods character, right? So that means he is going to be on, um, whatchamacallit's team? Uh, Hearts. Okay, good. I'll say, yeah, please. Like, we're, we're, we're here up to see Fu. All right, 8.97 he does. All right, sure. Um, oh, we didn't fin actually we didn't finish freeze off. Okay, sure. Um, so yeah, I mean, I, I, honestly, I feel like we have mostly gone over a foo, right? Like with his support, his dodging, and his just generally decent stats, um, I think foo can perform quite well. Because right, remember the thing with like demon goddess Toa. Uh, remember that Toa, she can dodge, but. Her stats are so low, she takes so much damage. Whereas Fu, it's like an AoE could do some damage to him, but typically Fu's not taking damage unless it's a super attack, right? He, he should be fairly sturdy. And even if it is a super, I mean, it would need to be one of the really big boss supers to really just blow him away. So, I mean, that's another important thing to keep in mind with, with Dark King Fu. Again, I, I think he really... He, he does feel like a rather strong character to me, right? Like, using him a bunch. I, I, I do like Dark King Fu quite a bit, I'm thinking. All right, let's um go ahead and see a couple of more rotations for Fu. And then uh, we'll finish up again. feel like we are seeing some good stuff. Okay, so here's Toa. Um, now, keep in mind that Toa can actually create some uh, orbs for Fu as well. We actually could get a demonic power up, but No, I guess I guess we could I guess we could do this. And that's still going to be enough orbs for us. I don't think hearts will kill in one hit, so we could just hit this bam. All right, so I mean, this is a decent turn for Fu. I mean, yeah, look at that 339k defense right there. Remember he gets 30% from his super attack effect and 150% when performing a super attack from his passive, right? So, like, that's where, you know, his stats are going to be looking good. And remember, Fu is a villain. So, all these big red zone bosses, they're not going to be doing as much damage to Fu since he is a villain, right? That's something that's very important to keep in mind with some of these sort of, like, villain characters. Super class characters need a lot more defense to handle these big bosses. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get to, uh, this rotation for Fu. Uh, do we want to put him in front of Harm's Way a lot? Uh, we might need to. Damn, was Hearts on turn one? I can't remember. I think he was, right? Uh, I probably 
Dude, this is all seven. Ugh. No, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. I'm going to hit this. Hearts ain't dying. Mm -mm. This is all seven. This is a great turn for Fu. Hearts, my boy, you're good. Hearts ain't dying. Hearts ain't a bitch like that. Yeah, he's good. He's totally good. He's good. He's dodging it anyway. All right, we're fine. We're fine. We're totally fine. Not a problem. We're all good. Yep, all good. Not even a concern in the world. All right, Fu. Big boy turn. All seven links activated. Let's see what you got for us, Fu. Okay, hearts. Sure, 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 sure. Uh, we'll probably finish this run out, and then we can, again, finish up the Foo video here. 10.1. Yeah, I mean, again, these are good stats, because remember, he's... So, like, right here, he has a 50% chance to dodge, did a 10 million attack stat, and he's giving 50% support, right? Like, uh, guess what? Those are numbers we will take. <laughs> we're we're, we're going to take all of that. That, that. That's a nice package. Now, you know, you can get a little bit worse, depending upon how many orbs you could get, but... Um, I, I would say that overall, I kind of like what I see from Fu. I think Fu does kind of give us a, a pretty decent performance, uh, all things considered. All right, we can give a try with uh, Fu in slot one right here. Um, let's see how Fu does. Uh, remember, we can get some decent HP regeneration, of course. You know, we probably should see one turn with Fu not next to hearts. Nah, it's probably not a big deal. Dodge it? He didn't. Okay. This is going to hurt quite a bit. But, I mean, that's not really like, oh my god, Fu is so terrible. That's, you know, dodge proccing or not proccing. I could live with the dodge not proccing, but uh, don't let he, him do an additional normal now. Uh, as long as we, we, we take 800k to a missed super attack, ah, well, I mean, that's tough. But uh, that additional normal, and I'm screaming at Fu, man. All right, this is Awakening Through Dark Factor. Dark King Fu. His leader skill is Battle of Wits category key 3 and 130% to stats. His super attack is the Surprise Judgment, which raises defense by 30% for one turn, does supreme damage to the enemy, and then seals enemy super attack. His passive skill is Dark King's Universe Creation, which gives him 150% attack and defense at the start of turn. Then he gets 150% attack and defense when performing a super attack. That's good. He gives Extreme Class Allies 30% attack and defense. It is pretty easy for him to get some extra key, but I almost would rather, like, he had, like, one key baseline right there and then maybe take a couple of key off of what he could do with his support. I guess it's not the biggest deal ever, but just having the baseline key support would be nice. Um, then, Fu, with another three crossover category allies on the team, he will change a type key sphere to SCR key spheres. He gets 100% attack with an STR key sphere. Then he gets, per STR or rainbow key sphere, 10% chance to dodge up to 50%. Extreme class allies, one key up to a max of five. And then extreme class allies, 4% attack and defense up to a max of 20%. Again, with, you know, as many STR or rainbow orbs as you could get. His links are demonic power, brainiacs, cold judgment, big bad bosses, godly power, fear and faith, and fierce battle. 12 key multiplier is 140%. Uh, and then Fu is on a few category teams that could use help. So that's good. Uh, he, of course, is on battle wits like many of the, you know, heroes, demon characters are. Uh, Fu is also over here on the uh, Realm of Gods category team. Uh, then Fu is on the Time Traveler category team, like every hero's character, basically. Fu is also on the Dragon Ball Heroes category. Then Fu is on the crossover team. Uh, and then finally, Fu is on Accelerated Battle. That is good. Because um, Accelerated Battle someday is going to get a leader skill. Uh, and that's going to be a very interesting team when it does. Accelerated Battle is a strong category. That's going to be a really fun team when that gets a, a, like a leader. So let me know what you guys think of Dark King Fu. Um, I really have come to like him quite a bit feels like he's a pretty good run in a lot of these fights let me know what you guys think thanks for watching and i'll catch y'all next time